before we start, I'd like to give a who shout out to all my Patreon members. All credit goes out to them as it's their support that is helping me create these videos. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment to FM Scout's YouTube page. Peace and enjoy the video. Also for this video, I did use Pro's transfer update. So please, if you want to use the update, use this one. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to FM Scout's YouTube channel. It is RDF and today we have another recreation. I know, I know, it seems like all I do is recreations, but I'm just in that creative mode. I'm in that creative zone. I don't want to lose it. So whilst I'm in that creative zone, I'm just going to keep giving you these recreations as they come along. In the comment section, Man United's Ole Gunnar Solskjaer recreation was requested a lot, a lot. Yes, I know it has taken a little while for it to come, but it has finally come. But the eye there, the counter attacking, the overloading on the left hand side, leaving space on the right hand side, inviting pressure and then exploding with pace. Also, the nice pass and move football, especially in and around the box. I feel I have captured most of that. So as you can see here with Man United, I have brought back the glory days. I have managed to win the English Premier League whilst also winning the Europa League and coming runners up in the FA Cup. As you can see, Antio Martial was heavily important in this system. He managed to get 40 goals in all competitions. Luke Shaw with a nice average rating with a nice number of assists alongside Bruno Fernandes, so another important player. Bruno Fernandes getting the most man of the match award, so that there is money well spent on him. So without a further ado, let's look at the tactic and let's talk about it. So in the tactics, I have two tactics once again. Yes, I am treating you guys. I have a 4-2-3-1 here, which I must admit I use most of the time. I didn't really use the second formation, mainly because the 4-2-3-1 was doing really, really well. And the 4-2-3-1 was heavily requested by you guys. So I thought I would, I would heavily focus on the 4-2-3-1. And if needed, you can switch to the 4 3 3. It is the same system. The idea of the football is the same. There's a few role changes, of course, because of the change of formation, but the idea of the football is still the exact same. On the left hand side, you can see a nice overlap with the wing back overlapping the inverted winger. And then on the right hand side, there is a little bit more of a direct partnership with the full back just in support for the inverted forward. Playing just behind the striker will be the attacking midfielder, the Bruno Fernandes role. He will be in and around that box playing nice link up between the two wide guys and the striker in the double pivot you have the nice balance of someone holding and someone being that water carrier that number eight role trying to bring the ball forward and trying to create from the deeper areas I feel Manchester United play with a counter attack they like to invite pressure and when they do invite pressure they can get the ball out quickly they do like to play short passing but they like to get the ball out quickly into the front three so they can have their opportunity with one-on-ones against the opponent's defenders that makes them very very dangerous using the system you will notice that you have a lot of chances you will be on top and it's all about trying to break down the opposition's sturdy defenses as you will come up against mostly teams that are trying to be compact and not concede against a huge team just like Manchester United. So now let's talk about the football manager tactic. Let's talk about how we translated that into football manager 20 and into the team instructions. So with the So with the 4-2-3-1, the mentality straight away, we're going with the positive mentality. They need to stamp their authority on certain games, well, on most games, as they will be the stronger team most of the times. So I feel the positive mentality suits their idea very much. With the attack and whip, we've gone with fairly narrow. The reason why I've gone with fairly narrow is I believe that Man United are a little bit compact. When they are out of possession, being compact makes it easier for them to transition into attacks. It can get their players off into the counter attacks a lot easier and it's much more difficult for us to be broken down. The approach play, we want to pass it into the space. We want to try those killer balls into the space of our dangerous attacking wide players. They will be very, 
very speedy players we're going to be focusing on the flank so when we do have the ball the idea is when we're attacking narrow and we have the ball in narrow areas once we have the ball in those narrow areas we are now going to look at wide so hopefully playing narrow we can drag some of the opponent players into narrow areas and then boom we can kick the ball out wide focus down those flanks we will also be playing out of defense of course being a stronger team we want to play out of defense we want to have some control over the game Passing directness, I have left it on standard, so this will be to suit him with the match mentality, which is positive. So that is fairly short passing already. And with the tempo, we are going with the higher tempo, try and make things happen in a more urgent fashion. When it comes to dribbling, we want to run at the fence. We want to use the attacking flair, the strength, the agility of our attacking players in the final third. This can also help us break down the opposition when it comes to the in transition play we have gone with the counter press and the counter possession this doesn't automatically mean gegen press just because you are counter pressing you can counter press in a counter attack system trying to get the ball back once the ball reaches a certain area of the pitch so then you can go and break in numbers and with speed Speed. When the goalkeeper is in distribution, I want him to start the team ticking just like De Gea could do for Man United and get the team on the front foot from defence. When we are out of possession, we have gone with a higher line of engagement. This is to try and stop the opponents playing from the deeper areas. But with the defence line, we have gone with standard. This will invite some pressure onto the team. Again, once we invite pressure onto us, this then gives us the option to break into spaces once we do win the ball with the defensive width we have left it on standard with the marking and the get stuck in this is to emphasize on trying to win the ball back once the team breaches our line of engagement and especially when they get much closer to our defense line once they do that we do want to limit the space they have on the ball we do want to be aggressive when we are trying to win the ball again this is all helpful for when we want to break on a counter attack and in numbers with speed so along with that we have gone with the pressing intensity of more urgent and as you can see here for the 433 system the instructions are the exact same now let's move on to the player instructions and their roles For the goalkeeper, we just have the normal standard goalkeeper. Someone like De Gea doesn't necessarily have the quality on the ball to be a sweeper keeper to try and play some nice counter-attacking football. For the left back, we have the wing back, which would usually be Luke Shaw. He has absolutely thrived under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, I feel, anyway. We will be asking him to shoot less. He will be in the final third areas a lot of the times. So when he's in the final third areas, I do want him to shoot less often. But I also want him to stay wide up, maintaining the width in his attacking movement. On the right hand side of the fence, we just have the normal fullback on support. He will be more of a supportive player for the for the attacking winger. We're also asking him to run wider with the ball and stay wider. These are more direct football instructions, and that is what we're trying to do sometimes, trying to be a little direct in our approach for the counter-attack system. In defense, we have the partnership of a ball playing defender and a central defender. On the ball playing defender we have him being a stopper Harry Maguire is someone that likes to bring the ball out this can also help with better passing options once he brings the ball out with his feet the pitch can then suddenly open up for him and then he can pick a better pass for the other centre back which was typically Lindelof he has a central defender role on cover he's just going to be covering Maguire's movements so this is a nice little defensive partnership between the two just in front of them will be the double pivot on the left hand side it will be the anchor man Nemanja Matic he will just be protecting the area in front of the two central defenders or just in front of the back four he's he's also there to help prevent counter attacks against our team so whilst we are on the counter attack we we don't then want to be counted ourselves but I am asking him to close down more and tackle harder for the right hand side of midfield the Pogba role this was a big big question mark I know this will be a big big discussion between people too which role should I have chosen but I have gone with a Segundo Volante I think that's how you say it because this guy he has the capabilities of doing more than one task in that midfield on his instruction I'm asking him to dribble less so I'm asking him to feed the attacking players a little bit more 
more quicker rather than dribble with the ball. Asking them to get further forward when we are in position. And like I explained on the anchor man, we will be closing down more and tackling harder. On the left hand side of attack, we have the inverted winger. The inverted winger and the wing back on the attack is a very, very nice mix. This will create a nice overload and overlap on the left hand side. I am asking him to shoot less often, roam around from his position. This is a good option for when we are on the counter attack. I'm asking him to stay wider to stretch the pitch, but not necessarily on the touchline. He will just be staying wider. And once we're in transition and moving, you will notice that he's making nice inside runs with the ball or even without. On the right hand side, we have the inside forward on attack. We are asking him to shoot less often, roam from position, stay wider and tackle harder. Literally the exact same reasons as the inverted winger. The inside forward is naturally a little bit more attacking, hence why on the right hand side, the full back on support. And we also have the volante on the right hand side. He is a nice attacking support on the right hand side. In the attacking midfield position, we have just the attacking midfield on support. <laughs> He's got instructions of hold up the ball. Yes, that is a very interesting instruction that I am using. This helps with a nice pass and move movement. So sometimes the ball, when the ball goes to him, he can hold up the ball and then he will have three nice options to choose from right in front of him. He can shift it to the left, he can shift it to the right or in front of him. I am asking him to hold up the ball to take his time a little bit extra to make that correct decision so we can be a little bit more clinical when we are in attack. I'm asking him to move into channels two he also has tackling harder and on the advanced forward we have shoot less often roam from position and tackle harder mainly the same reasons as the two wide players so they can roam around pick spaces when we are on the counter attack now for the 4 3 3 the defense and the goalkeeper is the exact same Nemanja Matic the idea behind him is the exact same in central midfield we do have the box to box midfielder he will be playing more direct passes trying to create things from a little bit of a deeper area get further forward also stay wider to create an overload on the left hand side and he has closed down more and tackle harder for the right hand side of midfield again another big question mark over this role i opted to choose a ball winning midfielder because i felt when you are playing a counter attacking system this is a very very useful tool to use when you want to be on the front foot try and win the ball back quick as possible to get your team on the counter attack Ball winning midfielder is not necessarily just a defensive minded position. You can have a kind of a creative player in this role. I feel someone like Fernandez, you can have a decent ball winning midfielder. Maybe just his tackling and marking lets him down, but he still has that aggressiveness. He's brave, he's got nice balance and agility. Also, nice positioning, teamwork, and all the other attributes that a ball winning midfielder should have and for the striker i have a complete forward instead of the advanced forward so he can do multiple tasks up front not just being the advanced forward not just being the person that leads the line but when you are the lone striker and no one just behind you it's also nice that you can come deep and link up play too so that is it for the two tactics now we're going to look at some results quickly Just like the Premier League, you can see here we, we played 38, won 31, drawn 4, lost 3. Three of those games came against Manchester City, losing at home 4-2, losing 4-1 away to Arsenal, very, very bad defeat, and losing 2-0 away to Liverpool. You can see at home we was very, very good, very strong. We played 19, won 18 of those games, losing 1, and away we had the best away record in the league. That is what won us the league. When it comes to team average possession, you will see that Man United are sitting 11th. We're not aiming to dominate possession as a counter-attack team. When it comes to goals, we scored the third most goals, scoring 92. So we actually scored a lot of goals. When it comes from corners, we managed to score 10 from corners. And in direct free kicks, we scored 11 again. There's five or more teams that scored over 10 indirect free kicks it's complete madness complete madness when it comes to passes completed we're sitting 19th but when it comes to chances created 143 chances created by manchester united that is a huge number 
huge amount of chances created. But again, there's four teams or more that has created 110 chances or more. That is absolutely crazy. I have never seen anything like that before. When it comes to conceded, we also have the best defence in the league. I only come in second though when it comes to clean sheets. Most man of the match awards was Bruno Fernandes with 11 and Martial was closely behind him with 8 of those awards. When it comes to the highest average rated player, Fernandes in that list, Martial, Luke Shaw and Paul Pogba. When it comes to goals, Anthony Martial with 27, he had a very, very good season. As you can see, he's got 40 in all competitions. And when it comes to assists, you can see here Luke Shaw and Bruno Fernandes both making 15 assists, both being top three assists in the league. And Bruno Fernandes creating the most chances and Luke Shaw just behind. So Luke Shaw was a very, very, very good player for us. And just looking at some team stats within the team, you will see that Anthony Martial scoring 40 goals in 43 games and assisting 10. So his goal contribution was 50 in 43 starts. Absolutely fantastic. Rashford behind with, with 19 goals, 7 assists. Bruno Fernandes with 13 goals and 18 assists, so double figures in both. Very, very good. Now, Mania Matic surprisingly with 9 goals, Mason Greenwood with 9, so a decent return for him being an 18 year old, Lingard with 7 goals and 4 assists. As you can see, Luke Shaw here with 18 assists, very, very high number of assists. So, Mata has 9 assists, also only in 8 starts, alongside Andreas Pereira with 9 assists, also in 12 starts. So that is it for today's video guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it just as much as I have enjoyed creating it, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, please stay safe out there, I love you guys and I'll see you soon, peace. Also don't forget to like, subscribe and comment.